Guess who forgot their brush and has to go downstairs looking like this? It's okay, I really need to get some coffee too, so we are back, Joe. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Chantel. This is my basic journey. I live and travel in a minivan with my dog, Joey, and we're currently in Morro Bay, California. I stayed at this beautiful hotel last night for the first night on the coast, and tonight is going to be the first night that we are staying in town. So I'm happy to have you here. If you're new, please subscribe and welcome to my channel. Let me do that. Don't mind the absolute disaster going on in the back here, but we are leaving the hotel now. I need to do a lot of errands today, so we're gonna go find somewhere to do laundry. I need to get groceries, I need to get water, and I really need to make sure everything is clean and put away, so I'll probably just like hang out at the laundromat and clean up the back after I'm done doing laundry and putting clothes away, um, because we are going to be staying in town today. Uh, you guys may know that I don't stealth camp or urban dwell very often, um, and the few times that I have tried um, did not go very well. If you guys remember when I was in um, Boulder. That was the first time that I tried and uh, got the knock and they cleared an entire street of people in their vehicles. Uh, and uh, then, where was it, Anna Cortez in Washington, um, they had like a 72 hour parking lot uh, that apparently I was not allowed to park in for 72 hours. Uh, it was only one night, so it just, I really like I was sitting in my van maybe for an hour and then all of a sudden this guy comes and he's like nope you can't park here and then a cop came and he was like you can park literally like the street that is like around this parking lot and he's like you can sleep there it's totally fine <laughs> um but yeah I haven't had very good luck staying in towns uh but I do see a lot of van dwellers here um, I'm going to trust trusty eye overlander that they're going to give me the right spot to stay in. If you guys know, I only use eye overlander to find my spots. Sometimes I use, um, this like free campsites.com or .net, whatever, but I feel like eye overlander is a lot easier because it also shows like where you can get water and where you can shower and all of the other things that you need, right? Dump stations if you are in need of those. So fingers crossed after we get done um i'm probably gonna go hang out at the beach for a while uh, until i'm ready to go to bed and then we'll we'll go find a spot in town to sleep all right but first we're gonna go get groceries <laughs> Also, I give this place five out of five stars. Five out of five. And that's really good for me because I usually have something to complain about when it comes to hotels, like usually the bed. Like I feel like the beds should be number one priority. Like I am paying to sleep here, right? And it's not cheap. It's usually like over a hundred dollars, right? So I don't know, I just feel like the beds should be like top priority and most of the beds in hotels suck. Like why is that? There's like no support. They've probably been in there since the 1980s, you know? But yeah, this bed was really comfortable. The room was freaking immaculate. Do I get to go? That lady was looking like she was gonna go and I had the right away. But yeah five out of five stars. It was just beautiful. They told me I wasn't going to have views, but I sure as heck had some views and that was just amazing. <sighs> Would definitely stay there again. We have another moody day here today and I am loving it. If you guys don't know, this Twilight vibe is my fave. Joe, 
we have all our groceries, we got our water, now we need to go do laundry. Are you excited? <laughs> He's like, can we go to the beach yet? Like, what is this? Don't worry, Joe. We're almost done. Just have to do laundry. Originally, I was gonna hang out here at the laundromat and put everything away. Oh my god, this guy parked like a douche. Well, I was gonna hang out at the laundromat and put everything away and kind of just hang out there for a little bit. Um, but I decided that I want to just go to the beach and do all that. So. That is what we're going to do. This little downtown area is so frickin' cute. Oops. All right, let's go to the beach. Gosh, that was crazy. He just came right up to me. It was so nuts. You ready to come out here and chase some squirrels, Joe? Joey, we have to put all of this stuff away. Like, look at this mess. You ready? Joe, did we finally get it cleaned up in here? Get everything put away. Just watching the ocean. All the little squirrels running around. So I'm getting ready to eat some dinner. 
I'm gonna have this green goddess chopped salad. Looks like this. Comes with all this stuff. We have little Joey sleeping on the floor over here. And then after we eat dinner, we're gonna head out and head to our place that we're gonna sleep. So let's eat. And uh, then we'll go. I am just absolutely loving this foggy, twilighty kind of vibe. Oh, it's so good. All these signs got put up since we came down here because there's something going on Saturday. Some sort of festival type deal. Good morning, everybody. I officially made it through the night in the spot that I'm in. And I'm going to show you guys a little bit when I get up because I'm going to leave here in just a second to go get coffee. But I'm not going to tell you guys where I'm at because there is a city ordinance that doesn't allow you to sleep in your cars and there's a $250 fine. However, I heard that the city of Morro Bay is actually really chill about it and so that you're most likely not going to get a ticket, but I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys like, oh, come park here and then somebody get a ticket and be like, well, <laughs> this person told me to park here. So use iOverlander. That's what I use every time I find a spot to camp. I use iOverlander. So you guys can go on there and see the different pins that they have on there and know that I probably slept at one of them because there are not many because there are not a lot of places in Morro Bay that you can legally park overnight and sleep in your vehicle. So just wanted to throw that out there. Um, so today is going to be quite an eventful day. Um, I have a lot of things planned. Uh, first, we're going to go get coffee and get a little bit of work done. Um, and then after that, we have some exciting things going on. So this is where I'm going to end this video, but I hope you guys had a lot of fun coming with me to Morro Bay, and this area is just freaking gorgeous. All the way up the coast is just going to be so beautiful. So if you're new here and that's something you're interested in, definitely subscribe below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll also put a link for my Patreon in the description box in case you're interested in checking that out and helping support my channel. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Thank you.